Building a house in Ghana is not easy. In fact, building a house anywhere is not easy. You need to learn about how to acquire your land. You need to learn the legal processes. You need to learn how to register your land and much, much more. You also need to learn how to negotiate with the artisans that will be working on your project. And most importantly, you need to learn about purchasing of materials like cement, iron rods, blocks, etc. Now, speaking of materials like cement, I'd like to thank you to SuperSem Ghana, the sponsor of today's video. SuperSem has one of the highest compressive strengths when it comes to their 42.5 R grade cement. And this is good for public infrastructure works such as roads and bridges heavy duty reinforced concrete structures, building foundations, block making, and more. Now I want to say thank you very much to SuperSem Ghana for partnering with Africa Building Hub to create jobs and to help us to continue to create these live videos. So all you need to do is to go on their social media pages, they are on Instagram, just search for SuperSem Ghana, follow them and tell them thank you for sponsoring this video tell them africa building have sent you and you are going to get an amazing discount also for any cement that you want now with that said let's get straight into today's video so as the thumbnail suggests today we are going to talk about this technology that we've been you know talking about on this channel for a while and this is the solar wireless camera now i know a lot of you have expressed interest so we did a bit of pre-orders we purchased about 10 and we have just about four remaining and so if you want to purchase any of the four remaining then one is going for 3000 cds but we are taking pre-orders for the next set the pre-order is 2750 ghana cds now the good news is that for anybody who is watching this particular unit that i'm using for the demo you can get this unit for 2600 cities because i'm using it for the demo now let's talk about some of the benefits of using this solar wireless camera first of all if you are starting your building project or your building project is in any phase whether it's you know roofing or you have even completed it getting a solar wireless camera is an amazing and really good deal because it comes with a lot of benefits we've installed some of these for even some of you subscribers that we've worked with um, on different projects in ghana and this particular version that i'm showcasing uses a 4g sim so all you need to do is to like purchase a sim card by any you know telco provider this is not sponsored but like i've put an mtn sim inside of this right and it enables you to connect to the camera anywhere in the world using an app and in today's video in just about 10 to 15 minutes we are going to go through all the benefits i'm going to show you how you can easily get started monitoring your building project without necessarily being on site all the time and when you have a completed building project as well, this can act as a CCTV. And so let's look at some of the benefits of having this solar wireless camera on your building project. Now for me, first of all, it's night vision because many a times when people come to come and steal things on your building site, they come at night. And so this is me demoing the solar camera at night and this is night vision so once it detects that somebody has come around the site it's going to send you an alert on your phone you are going to get a notification from the companion app that you are going to download which is the ubox app and it's going to send you an alert right so let me just come back here so this is the companion app um if you can see and this was me testing it during the night, right? So it sees clear as day, even at night with all the light off. And it's going to send you a notification that motion detected. Once you click on it, you'll be able to see who it was. You can take video recordings in case a person 
as a thief or scammer or whatever you can take screenshots and use it also as evidence when the police come now that's the first benefit right apart from that it also has lights on it so with these lights let's see the thief wants to misbehave right so as you saw over here at the beginning right when i came it was complete dark darkness right so you notice that the light icon came on and then it illuminated so the thief will be startled and probably run away so it has lights as well that shine and gives it you know that kind of illumination then apart from the fact that it has night vision like i mentioned it also has motion sensing so it's good because it doesn't need to have the camera on 24 7 because that might drain the battery really fast though it has solar but you know solar doesn't work at night so when you purchase it you are going to get the solar unit as well but the good thing is even if you don't want to use the solar you can connect it to electricity so this is the solar panel that you connect to it and that powers it during the day and it also has an inbuilt battery so during the day whilst the solar panel is powering it there's a battery which can last about seven hours at night however there's also provision for a USB-C port where you can actually use a charger so let me see if my camera can focus here yeah so you can see the USB-C port and that allows you to use a charger 5 volt charger right so if I turn it on right now you notice that a red light is on now when you put your sim card in it it will blink red and then the red will change to blue so right now it's checking for internet connectivity so that's why the light is blinking once it's able to connect to the internet it's going to stop blinking and then the blue light is going to become steady right so typically this process takes about a minute and then once it establishes connection to the internet like it, it has done right now so you can see that the light has stopped blinking it means that when i launch the companion app i should be able to see that i am online right so you notice over here that it says i'm online and so now i can use this to monitor everything that's going on at the side so i'm going to show you what the camera is seeing over here right now so it's just going to take a few seconds and then load up it says activity detected right so you can see me over here and then i can literally use like the footage from here even for my youtube videos because the quality of the camera it's not bad at all so it's connected to the internet you just need to make sure that your phone is also connected to the internet and then you'd be able to see everything that is happening so this is me in real time you can see that as i move the camera also moves now you can put the camera at a fixed place and you can actually control the camera right so you can see the camera pointing over here i'm going to move the camera using my phone so you can see that the camera is tilting around right you can see it moving as i move it and then you can also move up and down right so you can see that it's moving towards me now i'm going to let the camera move and face you guys right so let's see right now it's 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 pointing towards you guys right using just my phone app i can decide to move around and see everything that is going on at the site i don't know if you guys can see but if you can see you can comment and let me know so it's a really good tool for monitoring the project progress and the good thing is it also has like a speaker at the bottom so you can see the speaker grills over here that allows you to actually talk to anybody who is either at the gate if you are using it for a completed project or to talk to any intruder or an artisan working at your building site which is really amazing and incredible so i'm moving it with my phone app currently so apart from that right it's also waterproof so it can be in the rain etc and you don't need to worry about it at all it can be in the rain and all that so you can see i'm just moving this and it could be you right you could be sitting in uk us etc and again i want you to comment where you are watching from and if you've ever purchased 
any of these devices for like monitoring or supervising your building project. I prefer this to traditional CCTV cameras because the traditional CCTV cameras require electricity to work. And you know the situation in Ghana nowadays, the lights are just going off all the time. But when you get one of these, then you don't need to worry about dome saw because you can just connect it to the solar panel and it charges your battery. It can run for seven hours. When it's night time, right, it can just go off when there's no motion. But because it has an infrared sensor, once it detects that somebody is around, it will just turn on automatically and send you the notification on your phone app. And then from there, you will be able to see what's going on. And the app itself has so many features that I think we'll never be able to cover like in a live session like this. So I'm going to make some dedicated videos for any of you who would want to purchase. I created a link on Amazon so that people could, you know, go and purchase. And it was sold out quickly. So now when I share the same link, people contact me and say it's, they, they are not able to find a product over there. And so that's why I took the bold decision to do the pre-orders because a lot of people expressed interest. And I've delivered some to some subscribers and the feedback has been amazing. It's been amazing meeting some of you guys and meeting your family members for those who are not in Ghana who sent me to go and give it to their family members. And it's been a pleasure meeting some of you like in person and all that. It's just amazing, the feedback. So if you want one, you can just send us an email, africabuildinghub at gmail.com and we can see how best we can send one to you. Alternatively, you can also order one, right? So if you, you can go on AliExpress or you can go on Amazon and order one. So we've just looked at about two reasons why you need to get one of these. Now, even when you're buying, I'll not advise you to get one. I'll advise you to get at least two. Many people buy four, like for the four corners of the house, right? And somebody asked me, so what if my building project, right? I don't have like a pool or something to mount it on. What some people have been doing, right, is that they get a welder to fabricate a very long metallic pole and then they fix this on it right because people are scared that if the place is in the bush somewhere somebody will go and steal the camera so you get a welder to give you a very long pole that nobody can climb and then you fix it at the top and even before the person comes close you would have noticed received the alert on your phone but you can tell the person that they are being monitored you've called the police etc right you scare them away so let me pause here, read some of your comments, and then when I'm done, what we are going to do is that we are going to, when I'm done, what we are going to do is we are going to look at the next benefits, right? So just comment and let me know if you are watching and you are enjoying this video, you are finding value in everything that we are discussing. So Salome, it's good to see you. She says, good evening. Now, say Junior says, how much does it cost? 2,750 CDs if you are pre-ordering. But if we purchase and it comes and you want it, 3,000 Ghana CDs. And the good thing is, when you purchase, I also ordered the high capacity um, storage. So 128 gigs of storage. Because this is video, right? One hour of footage can be like 10 to 15 gig, right? So I give you 128 gig storage. Abdul Abdallah says, watching live from spain good to see you here gerald chum says hi thank you for this i'm watching from uk and i think the solar option is great salome says watching from spain good 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 to have you all i'm grateful that you guys always join the live every sunday night somebody even texted me on instagram that are we not doing the live and i told him we are just having a little issue with our graphics card drivers because the software we are using for the live stream was updated and so we needed to update our graphic card drivers so if you are watching the live or the replay please like can we get at least 200 likes there are currently about 49 people watching this live so can we get some likes now let's move to the third reason why you need to purchase two of these or four of these right so like i mentioned the storage options you can use either an sd card or a cloud storage option for me, I'm not too much of a fan when it comes to storing things on the cloud because then 
all your information can be accessed by somebody, right? It goes to sit on somebody's computers. And uh, when it comes to data privacy and all that, I am not too much of storing things on the cloud. And then again, because of the subscription model, when you go on the app, you can choose to subscribe. And it's very expensive. Like, it's like maybe not too expensive to some of you, but it's like $26 per year. Right, but then if you multiply it by 10 years, that's $260. Then it becomes more expensive than the camera itself. But if you buy the SD card, which I give you when you purchase one, 128, that can last you at least 10 years. And then you can always delete the footage after some time, right? So that's another reason. You get options, there's flexibility. Then again, there's the 4G or there's the wireless option. So like I said, I'm going to make dedicated videos on how to mount, how to install, how to connect to the app, so that at least as much as possible, when you order for some and we ship it to you, you can do all your self-service on your own, right? So you can use a SIM card. I purchased a SIM card and I bought just 10 CDs of data on it. And I'm able to like monitor the amount of data that's being used over a two day period. And it's not much at all. So you have 4G or the wireless option. I would recommend that you go for the 4G option, especially if you are just starting your building project because wireless, it probably means you need a router somewhere. And I don't think many people will have routers at their building site. I hope that makes sense. And then again, it has an app. With the app, you can actually, if you are like a man, right? Or you're a woman, you can give access to your partner. So that it's not just you who is seeing the video. Right, you can give it somebody you trust as well. So all of you can monitor the building project and it's really, really good. Then there's a two-way audio where you can listen to what the people are telling you or talking about you or saying at the site, right? You can record the audio. All these are also good for like evidence in case there's a police issue, whatever, right? You want to make sure that you have evidence and then you can also talk to the people. So the the value you get out of this is meaning and i keep stressing that if you are doing a building project and you don't have time to supervise then you shouldn't even start because we've had lots and lots of horrible stories where people started building projects and they realized that either people were stealing their bags of cement they were not bringing the required quantities of cement people even come and install like wiring for you then they themselves will come and steal the wiring so many horror stories apart from that sometimes the laborers will tell you that oh we are coming to site today at eight o'clock because you are not in ghana or you are not at site they'll come at 10 o'clock and then they'll close at two o'clock and they'll still be demanding a full day's wage but then when you have this proof that hey you guys came at this time i saw when you came i have proof They'll be serious. Once they know there's a camera, they are more serious, right? So sometimes the very fact that you have some of these tools in place helps to keep the people in check. You may not know what to check for, but then it really helps when you are supervising your building project. Hugo Hugo says, the camera is the first thing that is going to be stolen. Yeah, so we received some of these concerns, but like I said, there are ways to put mitigations around it such that it's not stolen. Right, when you have a welder give you a very long pole which is like concreted into the earth, it's difficult for it to get stolen because they'll weld it onto the pole as well. And from your app, you can move it all around. And again, even if the person wants to steal it, you have evidence of who did it, right? Um, Femi Awok says, Keep up the good work, mate. Really, really productive. Mwah. Thanks, Femi. I'm grateful that you find the content productive and regina bob says can i order for please yes just send me an email and then we would share with you just send us your address and like i said this particular one i have opened the box so if anybody wants it instead of 2750 or 3000 cities i'll give this to anybody watching it right now who wants it for 2600 ghana cities right okay so now i also want you to comment what are some of the experiences you've had when it comes to supervising your building project the reason why i keep spending time talking about it, in fact i did a video on instagram and tiktok which is not on youtube about four different languages or five languages 
where I was talking about the reason why you need to supervise your building project in English, in Chi, in Ga, in Ewe, in Yoruba. And it was so much fun making that video. It has a lot of engagement. Look, many people will build only one house in their lifetime. Some people don't even get to build a house at all. And so something that is so expensive, you want to make sure that you are giving it your very best. You are giving it your full attention. It's not something that you want to leave to chance, right? And so you want to make sure that if so much money is going into your building project, then the least you can do is to ensure that you are going to supervise, you are going to monitor. Somebody shared a horror story that they plan to have their building face in a particular direction, let's say facing east or facing west, right? And that's supposed to be done at the certain out part. But when he went to the site during the foundation, he realized that the orientation of the foundation meant that where he was hoping the house would face and you get the good view and all that it was completely wrong so from the foundation everything is wrong you understand so there are certain key and critical phases of the building project that you need to be there yourself right so setting out foundation you need to be there yourself and your architect or your main you know engineer or project manager need to be at site that is one of the most critical parts of the building project. And then things like when there are critical decisions, let's say you are doing roofing. I remember on my own building project, right? I, when, when you look at the architectural drawing, the thing is supposed to be a heap roof, but then the guys had made it a hidden roof. And fortunately, I went to site and they had done, you know when you are doing a hidden roof, a certain part needs to be higher than the other part. So they had already started making one part higher. And I said, guys, guys, how can you do this? Right? They, you have the drawing. But I said, oh, they thought it was hidden room because of the design and the architecture. In their mind, although they've seen the drawing, the way the building looks, to them it should be hidden roof. So they are doing the thing hidden roof. And I had to let them bring all those blocks down. Fortunately, they had just started. So it wasn't like they were going to use hammer and things to bring it down. They just, the, the mortar wasn't even dry. And they brought it back. I have videos of it, right? So assuming I hadn't gone to supervise at that critical stage. Next thing I would go to site, the thing had dried and set and all that. They would come to put wood on it and they have given me a hidden roof. And I don't want a hidden roof. You understand? So certain critical stages. Some people even like, it's not their intention to mess up your building project, but their expertise level or the experience that they have doesn't match your vision of the building project you want to put up. Let me give you an example. Sometimes I've seen some people's like building projects and the hall is bigger than somebody's whole two bedroom house. <laughs> so imagine that the artisans working on your building project, they are living in compound houses or one bedroom house or chamber and hall, they don't understand what an open hall and kitchen concept is. So before you get there, they have started partitioning your hall that you want to be huge and grand with your kitchen and everything that they started the partitioning at the place, right? And they are putting walls to divide the hall and the kitchen and things like that. Meanwhile, that's not what you want. So certain key things, demarcating where the rooms are going to be, the washrooms, your, um, your inbuilt wardrobe and all these things are key. And then again, when it comes to things like the finishing touches, you need to be super involved. You can't just let them give you a bill of quantities and then say, for example, let me show you, let me show you some, right? So they give you like maybe an invoice like this, right? And then the invoice has materials, the quantities, then the labor components. Then you just carry, let's say, 24,000 and give it to them. No, you need to cross-check because sometimes they would even give you the, 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 the materials. Let's say a unit is supposed to be 1,000 CDs. They, they are supposed to give you 10. Instead of multiplying the 1,000 by 10 to give you 10,000, they will make mistakes in the calculation. And write 11,000 or 100,000, right? And it continues like that. And the subtotal and the grand total 
are way more than it's supposed to be. So when it comes to supervision, it's not just like you always going to site, but you picking the documents, the invoices that they share with you, right? And going through the various items. Don't just say, oh, all right, so they want to do Thailand. It's 60,000. Then you pay that 60,000. No, go through each item. Pick your phone. Now every phone has a calculator. Open your calculator app and then just like calculate the thing and then make sure that everything tallies, right? And scrutinize the items. Apart from it tallying, is the price reasonable? I think, was it today or yesterday? I, somebody called me, right? Yesterday we were doing some consultation sessions. And if you want to do consultations, you can send us an email, africabuildinghub at gmail.com. And during this consultation session, the person said she had paid over 200,000 CDs for secret roofing of a three bedroom house or something. And when she sent the designs, I said, goodness, over 200,000 CDs. Hey! And now she said she wanted to do a wall, right? A fence wall. And the guy was charging about 200,000 CDs for one plot. One plot fence wall, 200,000. Right? So you need to scrutinize. I'm sure they are telling her that a bag of cement is probably 200 CDs or 500 CDs. Meanwhile, on our channel, we do the prices of building materials at least once every month. Formerly, we used to do it like every week, but I felt it was a bit of overkill, especially when the prices don't having changed like in two weeks. So now we decided when it changes, we give you an update. So you should be expecting the next one before this month of March ends because there have been certain changes, right? You need to scrutinize and compare. Compare, compare, compare is the name of the game. Else you'll be throwing your money away. How can somebody build you 200,000 CDs for a fence wall 100 by 70 goodness anybody who is watching this who has done a fence wall should tell you that it shouldn't cost you more than seventy thousand cities unless you are building like some wall which is reaching all the way to the heavens right i'm going to pause here and read some of the comments and then we continue so he says even with a long pole the pole could be cut well that's also fine um when this story says two thousand ghana cities cash Wendy, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, can you please clarify? Okay, so keep the comments coming. We like the comments. And keep sharing your own personal experiences when it comes to supervising and your success stories or your horror stories. We learn from all of these, okay? So apart from, like, scrutinizing the invoices to make sure that the quantities are right, the price is right, you also need to compare. Then again, one thing you can do is to purchase the materials yourself. I know sometimes the artisans may not be too excited about that, but you don't care. It's your money, right? Especially you guys in the diaspora, they feel you have so much money. So when you are building, the, the quotes and the prices they give you are just outrageous. I remember in December, we had two clients who had two similar stories. And they felt that the estimates that their contractor had given them was too much or were too much whatever the right english is right they didn't have much experience in building and when they watch our videos and they watch the bill of quantities that their contractor has given them they just felt something wasn't right so they sent us emails and it was like back to back and i was wondering is it the same guy sending me two different emails with different email addresses but apparently two different people having the same experience and when we reviewed their bill of quantities it was crazy because for a foundation and the number of tons they are asking their guys to buy of iron rods, you think that a guy is probably going to build a stadium. <laughs> and the guy said, oh, he has already given them the amount for the foundation. I said, Eesh, how can some contractors be so wicked? Like, because the guy doesn't have any clue, they are just, what's the word? What's the word? Somebody should give me an English. They are taking advantage of his ignorance and naivety, right? So what we did was we prepared a, a new bill of quantities for them to guide them at least when they are negotiating with the contractor this then guides them so one other thing about supervising and minimizing costs or losses on your building project is to compare 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 and this is a good point for me to also plug in one of our you know sponsors 
which is metfab roofing systems now metfab roofing systems we have an interview with them that should be dropping this coming week god willing and the good thing is with them when they are giving you a quote or an estimate for your building project they don't charge and it's really amazing because a lot of people even if they are coming to look at your site they will charge you money and it makes sense for them to charge you money because they're using their transportation they are coming with their guys They'll probably pay feeding and everything, right? But Methfab roofing systems, they do not charge for giving you estimates. And so contact Methfab roofing systems and tell them Africa Building have sent you and they are going to give you at least 10% discount on your roofing. Now, again, speaking about sponsors, this video is sponsored by SuperSem. SuperSem has one of the highest compressive strengths of all 42.5 grade cements in ghana and so if you are looking for quality cement for your building project i am going to recommend super sim thanks baby all right so any questions let me read the comments and close it's 30 minutes already um so benjamin de Vier says i hope i've pronounced it correctly right can you recommend any good architects and structural engineers yes i can kindly send me an email africa building hub at gmail.com the house of strength says watching from ghana good my ghana people are in the house because it's like ah i'm doing a video but almost everybody who is watching is not in ghana i mean it's good but it's good to have people in ghana as well joe masby says hi hi joe masby good to have you here so we are going to wrap it up again this is the first product i'm selling on the channel this is a solar wireless camera when you purchase it you get a camera you get a solar panel unit and then you also get all the things that you need to mount and to install it right all the screws the cables the manuals and i'm like i said i'm going to make dedicated videos on how you can install it use it and even share it with your family and trusted friends one is going for 2750 if you are going to pre-order but after purchasing it it's 3,000 Ghana CDs for retail. But if you pre-order 2,750, if you want one or two or four, send us an email, africabuildinghub at gmail.com. And with this said, I want to wish you a very blessed and prosperous week, a very blessed and prosperous Easter holidays. Do you celebrate Easter where you are? Let me know in the comments below. And share this video with as many people as possible who might find this helpful. And God willing, we'll see you next week, Sunday. Till then, stay blessed, stay protected, keep taking good care of yourself, and we'll see you same time next week.